how to use the two row function or two column to help us to solve real problems, to solve real practical situations. Basically, the two row or the two column function take everything that you have in a data set or in a large table and can convert, transform all the array into a row or as a column itself. So let's take a look here, for example, I have a lot of different employees in the company and each one of the employees are in a different department such as marketing, engineers, human resource and so on and so on. Let's say I want to organize it better and instead of have different categories of employees in each one of the, the columns, I want to take all the employees and group together in the same row or in the same column. I can do it using the two row or two column function. Let's start here with the two row function equals sign two row. And as I said, returns the array as one row. Let me double click here, one, two. Now the array that I'm going to use is not just the first one, the marketing people that I have here, but everything in all the columns. So maybe I can select here everything in all the columns. And it's notable here that I needed to select a lot of blank cells in order to make sure the arrays uh, contains all the informations. But we're going to talk it in just a moment. If I close parentheses here and press enter, I already have all the informations in just one row. So I take here all the names, all the employees' names, and convert it into just one row. But as you guys can see, because we have a lot of uh, blank cells, I also gonna have here a lot of blank results or zero as result. I don't want to have the zero as result because zero doesn't mean anything. Of course, it means that there is nothing in the cell, but zero is not a employee's name. So I don't need to have a zero as result. So instead of get the zero as result, I can double click in the function, one, two, and I can use another argument to help me with that. Let me read it off these last parentheses and then comma. I want to ignore everything that is equal to blank. So ignore blanks. I'm going to double click in this option to select it. Once you, and then I can close parentheses and press enter. Here we got a more precise result without any blank results, without any zero cells. And this is how we can use the two row function. But now let's take a look on how can we use the two column function that in my opinion is a function that's even better than the two row because usually we use a column instead of row to display the information that we have in the data set. So that way I'm going to take here maybe the column J for example and here I'm going to type it in employees enter and in the next cell equal sign to column that function right here. I want you to select the array that I'm going to use is the same array. I can either select everything with a lot of additional range right here. Okay, so I'm going to have a lot of blank cells, a lot of zero as a result. But it doesn't matter because we can use an argument that can help us to read it off the zeros. Comma. Now I want to ignore the blanks. Double click here, want you close provinces and then enter. I'm going to have here a complete list of all the employees name that I have here in the company. And we're done. So this is how we can use the two row function and also the two column function. And something interesting here is you don't need to use the two row function or the two column function alone. You can append another function within the same cell in order to have more possibilities of results, to have more possibilities of analysis, to have more possibilities of organize a data set. So within the same cell, I'm going to append another function. And the function that I'm going to append here is the order function, because let's say I know that I, even though I already have the correct result right here, the task is complete, I want to organize it better. So from A to Z, let's say that way, for example. So I want to sort in an alphabetical way. That way I can use within, I can append another function, the order function with the two column function. And the benefit to use the order function instead of manually filter and sort the order of the list is because whenever I update any name in the employee's name, the order function is going to automatically change for me and update with the correct result. So anytime I change any value, the function is going to automatically change for me, update the result. So let me double click here in the first cell or in the second row, one, two, okay? Now just after the equal sign before the two column, I want to append the sort function. Let me double click here, one, two. And as the first argument, the array, I'm gonna use the two column function itself. Comma, the sort index, I'm not using anything, comma, but the sort order, this argument is what I'm gonna use. And I want to sort this list in an ascending order or from A to Z. Let me double click here, one, two, in this option, close parentheses and then enter. As you guys can see, the list is already sorted for me in a, from A to Z in an alphabetical way. So this is how we can use the two row function, the two column function, and also append 
and other functions within the same cell combine functions with the two row or two column functions in order to have more possibilities. I hope this video can help you out and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below and I see you tomorrow as everybody has a new video. I see you there.